I'm working on a project right now and am deciding to make the outside frame with zinc and then make a uh, dark patina or black patina. Um, in the past, I've always talked about uh, gun bluing and whatnot and how well it does work for zinc. So what I do is I sand the zinc itself very aggressively. If you can see the scratch marks in there. This uh, gets all the contaminants and all that off of it. Um, you want it very clean. Then uh, I wipe it down with alcohol. Um, that, that'll get rid of all whatever your sandpaper and all that kind of stuff is. Um, I'm going to set the phone down here one second while I grab this brush. So just be patient. Um, I like to use the super blue. The super blue works better than just regular blue. And I buy the large bottles. Put it on. And you want it wet and pretty much leave it wet. This one right here, I did a few minutes ago, and you can see it's quite dark. I'm just going to show you. It works pretty prompt as long as you leave it wet. If you keep working it, uh, sorry about that. You can see we're like a little different change in color here. And all you have to do is just go over it and get it all one even coat. But really, the trick to it is is get it wet. Pour your super blue into something, such as the cap, whatever. Don't dip this in and out, in and out, and out, because this does get contaminated. It picks up grit and whatnot. But just to show you again, it's really this simple. Put it on, and you can see it's kind of a brownish. And what normally what I do is I'll continue to work down the whole rail, for example, and I'll just go right back over it. But uh, it's our, it, it just works so good, it's hard to tell already. So I'll just kind of go over the whole thing again. Alright, so there, you know, obviously is the end where I haven't done it and this is the black. But the trick to it is get it on wet, leave it wet, let it dry. That's really what makes this thing work the best.